Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Midnight Man bringing you guys another tutorial here on Tech Tutorial Wednesday and today I'm answering a question that a lot of new YouTubers have and that's how to create your own personal customized banner and I'll be showing you guys how to do that within Photoshop but what I'm doing in Photoshop you guys can transfer over to other programs such as GIMP, even PixLR on the internet. So let's do this. Alright, so first off I'm going to open up my Photoshop software right here and I'm just going to go to File and New. And when this comes up, you're going to want to change the width and height. You're going to want to change the width to 2,560 pixels. And then the height to 1,440 pixels. And then you can just press OK once you've done that. And you'll have something pop up like this. Now you can go to the internet, type in YouTube banner size. And then the first one that pops up here will be 2560 by 1440. And this picture right here is what you're going to want to copy and paste because this is basically going to be your template so that you know where everything is going to be whenever you actually upload it to YouTube. So you're just going to want to copy the image and then you're going to go, go back up over to Photoshop or whatever uh, photo editing software you're using and then you can just paste that into your software right there. So now you have it like this. But, you know, we need something to go behind it because you're doing Photoshop in layers. So this is always going to be your top layer so that you can see everything behind it. So that you can see everything that goes into your banner. So let's head over back over to Google and we're going to want to have an HD image that we can actually start to put our letters over of whatever channel name that we have. So let's just type in uh, HD green wallpaper because we want to make sure this is HD we want to make sure we have as many pixels as possible and we just want to look for a cool image here I don't know it really doesn't matter what image that we choose because this is all up to your personal preference we don't want to go with anything too crazy but this one looks basic enough and you just want to wait for the picture to load on Google so you can copy the best image quality possible so once it loads you can right click and copy it and then you can go back over the Photoshop and then once you're back in here click on the background layer so that you can put everything below the main template layer and then once you've clicked on the background layer you can just control V or right click and paste it and then it'll be into your project now wait a minute you can't even see the layer you just put in right so you want to click on the first layer that you put into there layer one which is this text and template layer and then you want to go to opacity and you're going to turn that down a, a lot because you just you want that to just be a little bit visible just so you know where you're putting things but at the same time you want to be able to still edit so once you've done that you can go back over to your main picture layer which is layer two for me and then you want to control T that which is the free transform option or you can do edit and then click on free transform so that you can add up uh, just change the position of this photo and hold down shift so that the photo keeps its form and then just drag it out literally just do that and then let go of shift so you can move it like there and that looks pretty decent I would say so for myself like that and then just click enter and if you want to see what your end result banner will look like without having to see this text logo safe area template thing over it just go back over to the layers and just click off the eye logo that, that's right there so that you can see what it will look like without the template over top of it but let's keep it over it for right now just so we know where to put things so once we've done that let's just add in our logo name and I'll change the font to comics loud just because I like that font we'll call the channel sample channel just like that and I have this under this layer for the template just so I know where to put things and I'll just try to center that as best I can and then I'll click on that layer for the text just so I'll stop the text editor and then once I'm done with that I can do control T again and that'll free transform it or you can do edit and free transform and then just you can just position this any way you like make it big make it small but you want to keep it within the layers of the first bars here you don't want to make it past that because then it won't show on iPhones or devices that are smaller so you want to keep all that in mind you want to keep all your main things you want everyone to see within that first box because if it's in the other 
second there and the third boxes, then not everyone's gonna see what's in those. So just keep that in mind. So after that's uh, centered up pretty well like that, sample channel, you can just keep it like that. And then you can, you wanna, might, you might wanna add something under it. So that's fine. Just make another layer. You can just click anywhere if you're still on the text option. And then just type in, you can just, uh, let's do your number one channel. This is a very generic banner, by the way. So then I can just control T that again or edit in free transform. And then just edit that out a little bit. And if I'm having trouble seeing what I'm trying to edit, you can do control plus plus or control minus minus to so that you can zoom in and out on what you're doing. So that usually helps with these kind of situations. I know that's what I do for myself. And then just say your number one channel like that. You can just put that in there, center it up, and then press enter when you're done with the free transform. And then you can see what it looks like by uh, unclicking the template. And that's what it looks like so far. Uh, well, now with the sample channel and your number one channel text, you wanna kind of buff it up a bit, right? So let's right click on one of the uh, text layers and go to blending options. Let's just add, uh, let's add a gradient overlay to it. Actually not a gradient, we just need actually a stroke. Let's just add a stroke to it just so we can see it a little better. And we can do the same for the sample channel layer of text. Just, uh, just so it stands out a little bit more, add another stroke to it, and then just increase the size of that stroke to make it look a little bit better. So that doesn't look too bad. So now just with what we have here, I can upload this to YouTube and that's just how it's gonna turn out. But there's some extra things we can put in there like our Instagram username, our Twitter username, our Facebook username or whatever. So to do that, it's gonna take a little bit more because you wanna go back into Google and we can just start off by typing in Twitter app logo. And basically here, you just want to look for a logo that pretty much suits your purposes. Or you can make your own logo. It's all up to you. But let's just do this one just for an example. And then you guys can do what you want to do with your own. And we just want to copy this image. And then we can go back over to Photoshop. And just Control V or paste that image. And then we have it back there. So right now, I'm going to turn off the template layer and then I'm gonna control T this image for Twitter bring it down Oops. there we go I'm gonna hold shift and then try to make it a little bit smaller like that and then I want to press control plus plus just so I can see what I'm doing a little bit better so that doesn't look too bad so let's start off with that I'm gonna want to see I have this white stuff around right because this isn't a, a straight up PNG image because when you copy and paste something directly from Google you're gonna still have those white or black borders around it just even if it is a PNG and transparent file because you need to save it within your own computer and then bring it in by opening the file but if you want to avoid that just take the magic wand tool over here on the left or if you don't see it just click the right click and then you'll have some options here to choose and just choose the magic wand tool and you want to choose that white area and then just delete it and once you've done that you can turn back on the template just so you know where to place your icon and then you can uh, control T the Twitter icon and maybe just put it there like that and then you can go and add some more text to it just so you can have your Twitter username so now with this, you can just type in your username for Twitter, and I'll just put in sample because that's up to you guys for what you want to put in. And then you can control T that after you click on that layer to end the texting. And then just shrink it up to the size of the logo that you guys have right there. Probably need to shrink it up just a little bit more. Just hold shift in so that it doesn't change its form. And then just drag it on in. And make sure to let go of shift when you're trying to to uh, move it around because then it'll act a little funny if you don't let go of shift. So hold shift to um, zoom it in like that. Try to adjust it normally without changing it a lot and then just let go to reposition. So that looks pretty good and you just press enter. You can follow that same example I did for Twitter all across for Facebook and even Instagram. So just put it across 
put one here, you can put one over here, and then just have it across, just like that. And that's basically how you can edit your channel banner. So in general, guys, this isn't really that hard if you follow this kind of template and make sure you have the correct sizing for your banner, because I've seen a lot of messed up banners that are just, that just look really weird and they're all out of whack and order. So having that template over it and changing the opacity over it and controlling it, makes it very easy to make a very easy, good looking template. And that's what I just did here within a matter of minutes. So it's that easy guys. If this video helped you guys out, don't forget to smack the like button for your boy. And uh, let me know if you guys have any questions about this down below in the comments, because I know some of the things I might do might be a little bit confusing. I tried to explain it the best I could, changing the size of the font and all that. Uh, I know it can be a little bit confusing, but I hope you guys were able to follow it pretty well. And if it didn't, just let me know so I can help you guys out with it. All right, guys, so one last thing before I end the video. If you think your channel art is all ready to go, it's looking good, everything's in the right areas, then you can just save this. Make sure you un see the layer that shows the template just click that away so it looks like this and then you can go to file save as and then save it save this literally wherever the hell you want and save it as a jpeg that's usually the best file format to save it i'll just save it in my pictures so jpeg and i'll just save it as guess what sample and i'll save it and then press ok because i'll just save those as the you know highest quality just save it as the best quality that you can and then you can head over to youtube.com and then you can select a photo from your computer and find the photo that you just saved so there it is there's good old sample It'll upload that and then as you can see it worked out the just this easy this it'll look like on mobile TV and your desktop and you can just select it and then bam there you go sample channel your number one channel sample sample and you can just do whatever you want with this change the background up make it look unique and give your own flavor to it add some gradients to it if you want if you're wondering how you add a gradient it's very very easy just click on the background layer here or at least the, the layer that is the most visible and then you can go over see where this paint bucket tool is if it's if the gradient tool isn't already clicked then you can right click it and click on a gradient tool and then you can edit what gradient you want by clicking up there and you can choose any of these or you can make your own by clicking on the colors and then just playing around with them that's up to you you can do the same for all the all three of these here and uh, just press ok whenever you have what you want and then just mess around with it there's one kind of gradient you can have which also looks very good actually I think this probably looks better than the uh, the sample picture I had for you guys to, to show. Um, you can change it up up here, up, the, up at the top, the different kinds of gradients you can have. See, like this. See how it looks a little bit different. It almost looks like a like a sunbeam or whatever. Looks pretty cool. So you can just you can just play around with this, guys. Just uh, figure out what you kind of want for you, for your channel look. This looks pretty nice as well. I, yeah, this actually looks very nice. So. Just mess around with it guys whenever you're ready to, to finish it up just file save it and then you can just upload it straight to YouTube and it'll look good now I could have probably done this a little bit better but I just want to, sh to quickly show you guys as fast as I could how to generally do it and in a, in a pretty good fashion and then just use that template the template is gonna be your best friend stay within the template and then you guys will be just fine so anyways that's the end of the video hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll catch you guys next Wednesday for another tutorial peace out